Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings 2, the Tribes. And today we are doing the last level of Sports Tribe, which is Take Up Archery. We'll see if saving this one for today was a good decision, or if we could have done it last time. We will just see about that, because a lot of the Sports Tribe levels have had extremely skippable terrain. And we will see how this goes here. We've got one roller, which uh, might prove interesting, but the roller is kind of a roller is kind of a joke for the most part. Uh, let's see, where is our exit today? It's right here. It's right here in the middle of this little happy putting green right here. So, what does the spear do? Does the spear just make? I've kind of thrown a spear before. And it looked like it made kind of like a slightly longer bridge than a, than a, oh wow, no, we don't want javelins getting stuck in the ceiling. That's a whole, that's a whole like what's the matter with you kind of deal. So, okay, we're going to have to save everybody. We have no attractors. Not much room for pole vaulting right here. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to... Okay, that one is following very closely behind. We've got a jumper, a runner jumper. You may want to do a runner jumper. That's that's certainly an idea. And yeah, one guy's gonna have to runner jumper, I think. Yeah, somebody went off into the pit. So we're gonna go ahead and let number two be a runner jumper. There we go. See if it clears the gap there. Well, no, it doesn't clear the gap. So that's that's kind of a that's kind of a bit of trouble. Let's see if it falls. As long as we're just experimenting, well, it does get stunned by going that way. So we may have a way around for it to kind of keep everybody. Well, no, we can't keep everybody in. Not as is because okay we don't really have any bashing tools that seems to be a problem but i think we're going to go ahead and uh, keep that runner jumper even though it doesn't clear the gap i think we're going to go ahead and keep that runner jumper for now because i'm going to go ahead and we yeah it almost makes it but almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades so that gets them going. So if I make another jumper right here. Nope, that doesn't work. So maybe that's not what we want to do. Not really sure what making spears and javelins is going to do for us. Maybe we want to take a maybe we want to take a path around. We do have, well, we only have two ropers. I don't really see what a lot of this is going to do for us. Archery may be the way here. Yeah, it says take up archery. That's that's definitely some kind of hint. That's the name of the level. So I feel like that's probably a hint of some sort. But how do I want to get rolling on this? This is a level where it's immediately pretty yucky okay so they're at least held in there by that means does a roller go splat? that's something we should probably test out let's see roll off the cliff yes rolling from too high a height still makes you go splatty pie so how are we gonna want to do this? Can we? Can we? Are we going to need a runner? I bet we're gonna need a runner to clear this gap. This is just gonna be ugly. Oh yeah, that was just all kinds of sad. Okay, so for the tenth level of sports here, I confess I'm at a bit of a loss as to even really figure out where to start with this one. Okay, working backwards from the exit, you have here, we're going to be roping up to here, probably, from here. 
which means also roping up to here. That's two ropes. We have no bashing tasks of any kind or digging tasks, so we can't really go up over here. This isn't really a viable area to cross. So we have to come down here somehow and go zoop, zoop. I think I'm gonna have to get a runner going ahead. This level is called Take Up Archery. I think we're going to be using archers as bridges. Okay. Okay, so not the jumper. I want the runner. Okay, you start. You head off. There you go. Alright. So now you need to save a comrade. Okay. And do it again. All right, does that extend to does that extend to over the pit? Does that get him all the way over? Okay, yeah, barely it does, but barely is fine. Okay, so now you're going to be going All right, now jump over to here so that you can start arrowing. That's too slow. Okay. We have a lot of jumpers, so I think the runner is going to need to get ahead. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Oh, Lord. Okay, so you're going to be running. Let's jump ahead. All right, so yeah. We could probably do a little more there, actually. Actually, that's a great place for you to... There we go. And then, again. That's not going to cut it. It's going to cut it for that guy, but it's not going to get them over. And if it doesn't get them over, then what good is it? So I'm going to have to take precise shots. It can be done in two arrows, but you got to be really precise about it. So let's get him as far ahead as we can. That's not a good jump at all. Ugh, I heard that. That was grisly. Okay. Okay, so bop, bop, and another one. Okay, so that gets you pretty far ahead, and you're in a great position to shoot arrows. Alright, so that's not going to look too hot, I don't think. That's, oh god. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, I think that looks good probably, so... There we go. All right, yeah, that's perfect. Maybe another hop across. And again, just to get you way ahead of the competition. All right, so you're gonna need to shoot several arrows and actually shoot them when I tell you to shoot them. What are you doing? Okay, so yeah, that's good, but that killed one. I might have some leeway though, because I still have 58 from, or 57. Someone said 57 was good for gold. I'm going to try to keep going with it for now. This is so ugly. I just, I just do not care for it, even the tiniest bit. No, what are you doing? Why are you stopping? You weirdo. Oh God. Okay. Well, that's not going to do it. And I only have one more arrow. That's not going to cut it either. So, one, two, I think I just... Oh, yeah, I just ate one to... Okay, yeah. So, what I'm going to have to do is the little stopper trick. But that is not how you're supposed to do it. That's just... Oh, <laughs> ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, yeah, so you definitely need three arrows per pit. Now this is going to be a slightly tougher nut to crack. Is doing this one right here, like this. See, and then he just stopped. Like, ugh, he didn't shoot. Was I not, was I too close to the bow? See. 
Yeah, that didn't do it either. That didn't cut the wax. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to keep the cursor farther away from the bow this time so that it works out. No, I didn't want to shoot it into the ceiling. Why? Oh. All right. What they're asking of you here is pretty difficult. I had to look up a video even to get the precision of it down, and I'm still not quite there yet. I need to just... Okay. Okay, we need to get about here and... Yes, a little tiny burst so that he shoots up, but the the runner moves very quickly so you gotta run like this okay and now I have to do it one more time even I'm not home clear yet so there we go okay oh my gosh okay that level took a while to do and my fingers hurt now and I'm very glad that I didn't do this one yesterday because if I had saved it for all right there you go get up there yes please get up there that is a tough one. Oh man makes sense for the sports tribe because it really pushes you to the limits of your athleticism but oh my gosh it is hard and I can't say that I'm a huge fan of it but you know we're starting a new tribe here so maybe we'll get a little bit of an easier one I think we can move on to whatever the next tribe is I'm looking forward to it because sports felt like it took a very long time okay everybody's finally out everybody has survived look at this this is this is janky as all get out oh my gosh oh man oh gosh that was that was quite the that was quite the uh, the exercise there. Sorry, I got distracted by my phone for just a second there. It was flashing a text message at me. We don't need to keep watching this. We can just get all these people out of here and say goodbye to the sports tribe. That should be a gold standard performance. So we should be getting that fourth chunk of the medallion any second now. There we go. Please award me. And, you know, very apropos to have a... To have the little Olympic platform here. You know, somebody said that the lemming looks like it's like holding onto its head like it has a headache. And now that I've uh, been told that, I kind of can't unsee it. But here we go. Let's get our fourth chunk, which means we're one third of the way through the game. The pole vaulter is pole vaulting off the arc. You want to pole vault onto the arc, I think, to be properly, perfectly saved. There we go. All right. So now. We should be able to move on to the next tribe, which is going to be, looks like the Shadow Tribe. All right, this is the this is Ninja Time. Here we go. So we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and load that up and do mm, at least one level of the Shadow Tribe. Get it started in any event. Should be a pretty easy one. Land of Oz. Fifteen fillers, fifteen flamethrowers, and fifteen jumpers. That's nothing we haven't worked with before, and if that's all we have, then it should be pretty easy. I am Ozzy Limius. Look upon my lemmings, ye mighty, and despair. So let's hit the Land of Oz up. So we're going to be making our way... I believe this is the exit. We're going to be making our way to the TARDIS. Very good, then. So let's go ahead. Ooh, very, very dark. Very dark. Okay, okay so this is some kind of steel... A pertinence here looks like we've got a trap of some kind we can uh, we can flame throw through the trigger for that yeah so very good very good I think we nailed that one yeah all right so now I see a little tea tiny itty bitty okay we're gonna be we're gonna be clipping through Ozzy here okay so go ahead and there you go all right we're doing great so far we're just hacking through letters, having ourselves a grand old time. We're going to fill our way out of here in order to use... F oh, come on. Get that bucket fired up. Okay, there we go. That way we can only use one to get through the Y here. There we go. I think I'm going to continue filling the pit, actually. That worked out kind of nicely. I don't want to... 
don't want the arc of the flame. No, all my wonderful sand. It's gone to waste. Okay, so that is not the exit right there. Okay, so good to know. So now, looks like we do have pits here. I'm gonna be filling in this gap. I would not want to flamethrow through and walk amongst the rooftops and then have it be a disaster. Okay, I used one more filler than I needed to. Can I fill over a, let's see. Can I fill over a trigger? No, cannot do that. Oh, yes you can, it just didn't work out that well. Okay, well maybe I should get somebody going ahead then. This is maybe not the easy, Okay, let's try going, can you jump over? Oh, that's just background, okay, no, okay, so no wonder. All right, well, if we get somebody going ahead then, that should be, that should be even better. Use jumpers to get ahead of the pack. All right, once again, hit over that trigger. We're doing very well here. Control burn, gotta love it. So let's go ahead and Fill the hole up with the sand. That should be enough to step up. Very good. All right, very nice. We're doing excellently. Okay, so now, okay, yeah, I should have one guy go ahead here at this point. Instead of filling right here, I should use a jumper to get ahead of the pack. And yes, we can, okay, yeah, it should only take a little bit more filling to get done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill over the trigger. Only takes one layer of sand. Very nice, very good. Beautiful, that should work. Okay, good, yes. And then we can fill in the rest of the holes and get everybody to victory. What's going on here? How did these lemmings get up here? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you hearing about this? How did this particular thing happen? Okay, yeah, well, they're all coming from... I guess a few got turned around and went up through the thing. Okay, I see, okay. That was a little confusing. I was like, what are you guys doing up there? How's how's this working out for you? Okay, and then you're turning around to be back with your friends. You climbed up out of the sand after you filled the hole. But it shouldn't be too bad. I think everybody is safe at this point. Should only take two fillings to to get everyone out there we go okay so everyone should now walk to the exit and there we go that's the land of ozzy the land of oz ruled over by ozzy a fan of a fan of rooftop excursions and and call boxes that are bigger on the inside than on the outside okay yes yeah they can all fit in there any number of lemmings could have fit in there. It's a it's a it's a contraption of Hoovian proportions. So how many stragglers we got? Just the one? Okay, good. I feel nice about that. So let's go ahead and stop there for today. Having been introduced to the Shadow Tribe and the and the man in the moon and the whatnot. So there we go. We saved 60 lemmings. Feels good to not let lemmings die. Oh man. So archery. That sure is a thing, huh?